very lucky. Um, Polish farm tour. This is the first for me, so quite looking forward to it. Going to look at uh, some different things work. So, uh, yeah, very lucky to be here. We'll uh, have a look around. Right. Farm's got 120 milking cows. Uh, milk Bob Robot. So this is proper Charlotte Ashby uh, stuff. <laughs> Shame she's not here, really, isn't it? But uh, yeah, we uh, have a look at the robot now. Look at this for some very calm cows. Look at that. Now I'm no expert on dairy cows, but these cows are 120 in a shed. Yeah. They look extremely happy and extremely well cared for. Right. There we go, hello. Look at that. Two robots in here milking, one that side, one of that side. The building is insulated and uh, in the winter it reaches about minus 25 degrees. So they um, insulate it, but there's also big fans there for the summer when it gets hot. The cows look very, very happy, very relaxed. I think the milk yields here are, are, are really good. They, they, um, there we go. There's a, there's a cow enjoying a little bit of relaxation there. Look, and nice to see. Incredibly well cared for animals. Apparently, this village has got 25 farms in just this one village in Poland. And um, yeah, it's uh, but even they, if they're worried about the decline of the farms here, so. It's, um, yeah. How cool is that? What do you think, then, Joe? It's, it's yeah. impressive, isn't it? It yeah. is. Yeah. Very much so. Yeah. yeah. Like, I didn't think that there'd be nearly astronauts here. Really? Because the cows seem happy and relaxed, don't they? Oh, yeah, yeah. They're not, really they're do. not vocalizing. The, the stress-free in here. Yeah. You've got the cow brush down the bottom end. Yeah, I think it was one just using it just now. Yeah. yeah. So I think the amount of milk that they're producing as well, I think it's at about 38 litres per animal, which is, which is high. It's good. Yeah, yeah it's good. But, but the animal would be ha wouldn't be happy. If, it happy if the animal wasn't happy, it wouldn't produce an Oh, no, 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 no. no. That's, that's the main thing, like, yeah. keep cattle happy to, to pay the bills. Yeah. At the end of the day. Like, that's what we say a lot. And look how they've even so the, the, the feed trough is um, used like a really smooth material. Yeah. So the cows can eat off it better. <laughs> yeah. Is the uh, robot food pusher up coming out to work? I didn't mean Ollie at that. I meant this thing over here. Push the feed into the cows. All robotics. So the cows then get the where the cows have nudged the food away, and then gets pushed back to the barrier. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. There's a slowly tank and a half, and it look at the tyres on that. 750-60s tyre size, look at that. Now that is a weapon. It looks like it's not metal, doesn't it? It looks like it's a... It is plastic. Is it? Surely it has to be. Or thermoplastic. No. Or fibreglass or something. Maybe. 
We just so happens. Mentally okay, aren't they? If you watch my video of last week, you'll see I was at a factory that made them. Oh. Yeah. Yes. Now, now that is a tractor, I think. <laughs> Young Oddie there. You like you like your fence, don't you? Eighteen lights on the front of it. Look at that. Have you got have you got nine thirty? 24 lights on the front. 24 um, lights. 936 and 724. Uh, that, that is a weapon. Okay. Just let slip. He just ordered a, um, the next, like, for this summer. Look at that. 900 tyres. I think the biggest, I don't know, it's like 710s. 710 tyres. Look at that. <laughs> that is a weapon. And the slurry tanker here, if you watched our video last week when we were in the CMO tanks in Germany, you see where they made made the tanks for that Bowser. We've got to get this in. This is Samaz Snowplow. We've been to just, having just been to the factory, I thought we ought to get that in there. I think these farmers also got mowers as well from the, there, but there we go. We ought to get that in, haven't we, haven't we Joe? Minus 25. We need to mention the snow plough, Ben, I've been to the factory, haven't we? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've been so well looked after. <laughs> yeah, look at that. If you're not a Fent fan, there's a new Holland here, T6080. Just look at the air horns on the, look at the air horn on the back of that one. That's a, certainly a road run tractor or a um, protesting tractor, I'm not quite sure which. Well, purely by chance, we stopped at a Deutsch Fahr dealer in Poland and to go have a look at some of the bits and pieces that they've got for sale here and the difference from some of the stuff we've got. So uh, let's go have a look around. First thing catches my eye is this uh, big flat bed trailer. Now, most of ours in the UK, uh, tandem or triaxle at the back, not a turntable. Um, but over here, nearly all the trailers a turntable, even some of the tippers like that. But the difference being also here, that these tractors are fitted with a, a continental hitch on there, um, which we don't have in the UK. Um, I think it's just an additional bolt-on part there and the, and the hitch there. Um, it's just had a draw bar. I'm just parallel, but an awful lot of these, these continental tractors have this hitch, which doesn't say that we don't. But uh, and so, so therefore this tractor hasn't actually got a pickup hitch. So, a few differences there. Look what else there is. Nice little wheel one there. That's quite cute. That's quite cute. We don't run any of these. We've got some JCB 403s, similar. But I think JCB is actually quite a bit smaller on that, but Similar thing. Joe's there getting excited about a combine. I think deep down he'd actually like a combine, but there we go. But look at that for, for beast. Oh yeah. What are people's thoughts on these tractors in black? I actually look quite cool actually. That is a weapon, isn't it? Again, all got these condensational hitches on the back. No pickup set, no pickup hitch there at all. Same this smaller version. No pickup hitch. Even on this sort of uh, uncapped version. So, so I wonder, thinking about this, having no pickup hitch like these, when we send and export tractors out of the country with with pickup hitches because it's very rare in the UK we get a tractor without a pickup hitch. I wonder how <laughs> if they like them or whether they just don't ever use them. I don't know. If they've got the ball coupling as well there. Um, like some of the, some of the big traders have that have that sort of coupling and, and balers and that, but anyway. Deutsch Fahr Combine, don't see many of them in the UK. I mean, a lot of farms over here are a lot smaller, smaller acreages than they are in, the, in, in, 
in our country. So there's a smaller header there. So what's that about a 20 foot header? So and I can remember in my youth when that would have been a big header. I'll probably show my age now. I think it's 21 foot, 6.3. 21 foot, 6.3. And what, what size is your Lexan? 41. Not Lex. You, yeah, you yeah, Lexan, Lexan, yeah, yeah, 41. 41 foot. So when I was young, that, that. I was just two of them. <laughs> yeah, I know. That was a big header. Yeah. I know. First come my eye, girls was 10 foot, so that was that big. Yeah, I think with a 17 foot was a big, uh, 14, no, 14 foot header. Did yeah. Did you have yeah. a cab on it? What? No. No. You did it? No. What, yeah. I think. You like a combine, Joe? No. Did you have one for three or four years? Well, it's almost one end. Especially after you just bought a triple mower. <laughs> <laughs> Brand new, but the letters are peeling off the side. That's not very good, is it? As you said about traders, there's a corn trader on four wheel. And you never see that in, in the UK. Unless, I think it's a three way tipper as well, so you can tip it forward, sideways. You just change the, change the pins on here. So it tips forward, tips backwards, tips sideways. Tips forward, tips so either way sideways. Or, um, Backwards. The gantry on the front. Well, that's a brand, is a brand I've never heard of, is it? That's a brand. Is it? Oh, right. Have you heard of them? Yeah, at this point, now, Joey's now doing technical, which is just probably heard it from someone else first. I'm not going to mention this on Facebook. Well, I might actually. Joe was very excited. Oh, look, there's a mill over there. We're walking over it and it's not a mill at all. It's an ag, ag, bag, ag bag filling machine. No, it's a mill. It is a mill. But then it, it's a million beers, I would oh, oh, is it? Oh, okay. I won't, put, I won't put that bit of video in. Yeah. I'm not going to include that bit of video now because Joe was sort of semi right. <laughs> yeah, I've been educated. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, Stad. I'm guessing the outside hopper moves out, does it? Or are they just in there for transport position, like, not set up? The two hoppers are close together at the end, so I'm guessing yeah, that no, tens up. telescopic. Yeah, it's, it's a good job Jake knows what he's talking about, isn't it? Yeah. I yeah. shouldn't be doing this because this is a competition. No, I'm just <laughs> talking about and the, the, that Samask machinery over there. Yeah. That's oh, right. This is a Samask dealer. See, well. amazingly, the fact that we're here with Samask, they brought us to a Samax dealer. Was that just purely by coincidence? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We were just in the area. We, you know, we like Deutz and um, thought we'd show you a Deutz dealer. <laughs> that just, just happened, happened to have. Yeah, okay. That's that's good marketing. Says me with the mower right behind me. There we go. That's what we saw being made yesterday in the factory. I have to say, it is a very, very well engineered. Joshkin trailer, so the only one, it's the only brand of trailer here that I actually recognise. And it actually is the conventional type. And the varnish, sort of a, a very similar to a Lemkin Terra disc. Um, made by this, uh, I don't know quite how you pronounce it, but, uh, sorry, metal, there you go, it's on the label, metal, 
whatever. Yeah, them. And uh, you can actually get this stuff in the UK as well. Again, made in Poland. Very heavily engineered. Look at that. The thickness of that is, yeah, very well engineered. <laughs> I'm not quite sure what they're up to over there. I'm not going to ask. Spring tines. <laughs> Don't see many of them in the UK now, do you? Used to, lots of them. There's a little dinky loader. Look at that. Again. <laughs> Another brand I've never heard of. Not 100% sure I like the... Uh, bars for the door there but I'm sure they serve a, a purpose but yeah that's a different brand more summer stuff there yeah. another, another spring time again obviously out here they're still popular over and plows cons kill plows Got a good little nose round look, look. That's obviously the service department. Turn to your net map, all arriving. So the season's uh, due to start. Oh. Very quick stop, very nice stop, I expected at this uh, Deutsche Fahr dealer. So, uh, yeah, we'll now head on to the uh, farm. Right, we've arrived at this uh, dairy farm in Poland and very intense here. They actually got there's nine farms in this location. I think Ollie's filming the same thing. <laughs> there's a farm there, another farm across the road. And between these nine farms, they milk 2,000 dairy cows. So, quite astonishing the close proximity they are and that intense amount of cows. Um, the other thing that's quite strange, I'm sure all these Polish farmers are very confused while these strange men from England keep turning up wanting to film everything. <laughs> I say strange men from England, you know what I mean. How are we doing, Joe? <laughs> I think Frick, Frick, I don't know how you quite pronounce that right, but it's I think one of the major John Deere dealers out here in Poland. So, uh, in the same uh, livery as the UK. I think that's probably worldwide. And tucked in the shed here is another trader brand I've never heard of or even seen. But a bit more of a conventional uh, trade like we have at home. But anyway, it's just, as luck would have it, the farm we've come to happens to be a big user of Samask equipment. I'm sure it's a pure coincidence. <laughs> There's a triple there. And a uh, little look at this trailer, the, uh, that's got the ball hitch that we see on the back of that tractor, just on the, on the, in the Deutsch dealership. So uh, again, John Deere 6175M there, without a pickup hitch. There you go. You'd think it'd almost be a, like a standard build tractor these days, wouldn't you? But there is so much variation. So some mind blowing numbers here. This, this whole farm is, hang on, I'll turn to Jake, hang on. Right, so can you tell me the numbers again? Yeah, this so this farm we're on now is 60 hectares and he does 35 hectares of grass, five cuts a year, and he's got a triple self sandwich mode. And he runs this whole outfit just to cut that? Yeah. That's. Roof is 8.6 meter rear, 3.4 meter front, conditioner. Yeah, that's mind-blowing numbers it is. on a well, small yeah. scale. We'll it is. never see that in the UK. No, not at all. Well, I've got customers in the UK cutting the same with a drum mower. <laughs> yeah, so that's that absolutely there's amazing. No, no contract, and like we said previously, there's nine farms in this village. Every farm has their own kit. That's amazing. Oh, thank you for sure. Absolutely. Right. Something else that's very impressive here is a blocked paved farmyard. Look at that for. 
That's uh, <laughs> beautiful and clean, but they get for farmyard block paving. You don't see that in England. All right, a little dinky little loader there. Now we come to the cows. Again, all look very happy and content. Two robots. Two robots for milking. I'm very happy and contented looking cows. Like on the other farm, we saw we had the Lely um, silage uh, pusher, uh, different brand, but all very modernised. For, uh, yeah, amazing these how modernised these farms are. Yeah. And there's a little old uh, Ursus tractor. It's very it's got air tank on it, mate. That's unusual for tractor that size, have a compressor for air. Look at that. That's a scraper tractor, I think. It is so impressive seeing these farms. It really is. They seem to have got life work back. Well, you know, everything is automated, the milking is automated, the slurry scraping is automated. They run some huge big kit on this farm for what is, in theory, a very small farm. Um, you know, it's incredible. Um, I don't get it. There must, there must be an awful lot of money in farming in Poland compared to the UK, that is for sure. Just on the way to the next door farm now. Have a look. I think they want to get, I think the farmers want to get the vodka out. Not advisable. So we just walked next door from the farm there. Now we're at this farm. That's a different farm there next door. Joshua tankers. Deutsch tractors. I think all of these farms seem to be massively over mechanised, 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 big tractors and kit. I'm sure they are. Back on the trailers again. Got to keep the GCS uh, thing going, haven't we? The, another metal track trailer there on the ball coupling. Again, not a trailer I think I've ever ever seen in the UK. Has anybody else ever seen any of their kit in the UK? If so, let's know the boxes below. Oh. There's a milk tank up. Quite another way they put their names hang on the buildings there. <laughs> Not sure who's filming who here. With the farm next door. Totally different milking system as a 2020 parlour in the middle there. Six herdsmen apparently that live on site upstairs there. They live here. And uh, 300 cows in one shed, housed all year. But all look, again, very contented, very calm. Apparently this, the farmer who owns this building has got another one very similar, just up the road. There you go, look at that. It's amazing. That is amazing. Look at that. That's the cows by the way, not, not Joe, obviously. It's just some interesting numbers on these cattle. I'm not a dairy person, as you all know, by any means. 
bigger the herd, the higher the milk is per litre. At the moment they're getting 60p per litre. They're getting at least 10,000 litres per cow. And the profit on there is actually, they've just worked out the profit. And I'm not going to disclose this man's business like that on, on YouTube, but it's, it's good. Now, apparently the, the bigger the herd, the higher the milk price, because you get the consistency of the same quality milk. So if you're a smaller person, it's harder, but the bigger the economies of scale, the more money the milk processors will pay you, which is certainly not like the UK. Well, I don't believe so anyway, and this, you know, different say it's not my market, but uh, just some interesting facts about here in Poland. Well, on the, on the farm here, they have machinery dealers as well. And this is their um, shop and parts department. And this is awesome. Yes, I appreciate it's all similar to what we have back home, but if you knew where we were in this country, you understand how good this is. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Slow tanker uh, pump things, welly boots. Look at that, what a shop. What a shop. Convinced I found the perfect shop for me to go Christmas shopping. Almost all the little things in here that you don't normally see are in here, and they're in stock. It's, um, it's amazing. Look, look how big it is. I'm, I'm, I'm halfway down. Look at the size of it. Huge. Oh. There wouldn't be a parts department without some Buddha toys, would there? And they're being very, very hospitable. You don't get this hospitality in the UK machinery dealerships, that's for sure. It's because we have drink drive laws. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, yeah, that's a bit of a... Um, that's a way to get business though, isn't it? It's a different culture, isn't it? It's a culture shock. <laughs> of course, it would be rude to decline, wouldn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? I saw the way you That's forced. Right, we just had a little sip and I saw the way you forced the, the forced the seventh one down. Yeah, right. But this is certainly some um, part stockists. I think we definitely need to explore granite for our shop at home. Air brake couplings. Oh yeah. PTO parts. UJs. The more I look, the more I see it's in. Paints, knives, uh, troughs, shovels. I appreciate some people, this might not be very exciting. <laughs> but I have to say, uh, top links, balls. Wow. One thing I've noticed is very apparent here in Poland, and these farms all here have all, so many different brands of tractors. I mean, in sort of very close area, we've got Voltra, John Deere, um, Case, we've got Kramer, Kramer Lodors, we've got DC Lodors. It's a, in, in the shed, there's um, two different types of uh, feeder wagon. It's just surprising that the, the, the huge variation in the different brands of tractors. Normally you've got a farm will be the John Deere or there'll be Voltra or there'll be New Holland. But here, the farm seems to have a whole mixture of everything. There seems to be no sort of particularly brand, obviously Deutz is here as well. So uh, yeah, big mixture, big mixture of uh, machinery here. There's another Samas triple mower. There's the better ones, there's the front. That's the next door neighbor, cutting, cutting a similar acreage, acreage to his friend next door. So, Amazing, 
amazing investment in machinery and the, and the amazing amount of different brands of machinery on very small on very small network of farms. Also, completely random here, but amazing door. It's just like a big garage door. Oh yeah, Joe has noticed the door. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm not going to. Here we are looking at tractors, but Joe has noticed the door. So now we're going to do a video on the door. It's worrying me how intrigued he is by the shed door. So if you want to hear about the shed door, you won't be on my video. Tune in to Joe Seals and you'll find it on there. <laughs> you'll see the springs. Look out for them. They're big. Business. It gets worse now because now Ollie is filming the door. <laughs> Look at that. It gets worse. <laughs> it gets worse. Once again, loads more block paving. <laughs> it must be very cost effective out here in Poland. Whoever owns the factory producing block paving in Poland is making a killing here. Without a doubt. <laughs> it's, it's clean, it's tidy, it's presentable, you know. And if you move, if you move farms, you pick it up and take it with you. So. <laughs> <laughs> like that. I wonder if it's tax efficient. Possibly, <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? Like you can, can't you? Product. You can block paving. It's the winters here. Um, it gets so cold. Yeah. But once you put concrete down, it's concrete. It's hardcore if you dig it up, isn't it? Here, you just dig it up, yeah. take it with you. Really? So. You never see any dips in it or anything either, do you? You know, like, you get, <laughs> no. you, you get yourself driving or something, you get a dip after like six months. So these weren't laid by people that um, just got just, just enough left over to do your drive up, was it? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> you that farm there. Big John doing now the JCB telly hand on that one. So, they all very, they, you think it almost keeps them consistent. At least could, they could borrow each other's attachments, wouldn't you? But there you go. That's quite cool on the bonnet of this John Deere. They've got a, a, leap, a leaping deer. Actually, isn't that just like John Deere mix, isn't it? Nearly, yeah. I do like the deer on that bonnet. That is some setup for 35 hectares of time, isn't it? That really is. Good We've now come back to the original <laughs> farm. And he's got the, the moonshine out. Now, how rude are you going to be? It's just, this is going to be a tricky one. <laughs> James has yet to learn the words okay. no in no. Polish. <laughs> but yeah, James, what is the word for no in Polish? No. <laughs> no. Still don't know. I think I'll find out soon if I was here. Well, we're very, very blessed with a super visit to these farms. And um, it, it was rude not to sample the 60% uh, alcoholic um, moonshine. Um, so yeah, had a great time. And uh, yeah, this farm has been a true gentleman. All right, homeward bound at Warsaw Airport and uh, heading for passport control. So uh, I'm going to go in behind uh, Joe and I, let him get stopped first. I'm going to film this momentous occasion here. Look, look, look there. Make note, make note world. <laughs> oh, it's declined. All right, what an adventure. Ollie and I are heading up to the first class, obviously. Yeah, Alright, we'll um, see you on the other side. Good news, or maybe bad news, we've been allowed back into the UK. Yeah, I know. <laughs> the immigration system in this country needs to tighten up, I can assure you. <laughs> <laughs> We all got back in. We all got back in. Easy. Crazy, isn't it? Crazy.